PeterLaFranceForBeerBasics.com once again, but this time, friends in fermentation. I've got a bottle here that was sent to me by the folks, uh, and you can see in the description box below who and where they are, but it's called McQueen and the Violet, Violet, V-I-O-L-E-T, Violet Fog. It's a gin that is made in Brazil, and uh, we're still here at uh, the uh, Water Parnell House. And, uh, the tasters are going to be uh, tasting uh, a, a gin. So we're all ready. I have no idea as far as the expectations go. Let's crack this open. But this isn't the water out. And nope. that's not a bottle of beer. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not a bottle of beer, and this isn't the water for now. No, this is the Henry Street Ale House. I wanted to take two. Okay, we're at the uh, we're at the Henry Street Ale House, and we're going to be testing uh, a, a bottle of uh, a gin that comes from Brazil, and it's got. Uh, you can read in the description box down all the good stuff that it's got in it. But we're going to be tasting it. Here we go. Crack it open. Very good. All right. Very clear. Ever clear. <laughs> not, not all ever clear, but almost clear. <laughs> oh boy. Cheers. 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 Smells like gin. All right, now let's see what we've got here. Yeah, it's it's like in the aroma. It's kind of like it. There's not, <clears throat> not too much to it, though, but it's, it's there. There is well, an you aromatic. You can smell the violet, actually. Yeah. And it's got a little color. It looks like it's got a little bit of, little bit of violet in there. Okay. A little bit well, of color. You've got us on that. Now, let's see what it tastes like. Sweet. Very, uh, there's so much in this. Very can flawed. taste the gin. Yeah, yeah. It's sweet, it's lemony, and, and uh, it, I can taste the, it's violet. Kind of tastes like the little violet gums right. that I used to uh, chew yeah. as a kid. Yeah, salty to, ones. To, yeah. Keep, uh, yeah. To, to make your breath better after you were out drinking and you didn't want to mom to know. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. To keep your no, uh, no, no, but I would now. <laughs> This is a, a very a very it is floral. Violet. Yeah. Floral yeah. and violet is, oh, is definitely oh. the word. I've never ate a violet, but it, it, that's I what have. it tastes like. It's what they taste like. All right. Well, they put them in salads sometimes. Violet's candies. Yeah. Okay. This would actually probably be a good mixer. Oh, uh, there we I go. I think it would be. With, uh, I, I, I wouldn't turn it down. Tonic and a twist or uh, soda with a twist would yeah. be great. Yeah. 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 Now, this has yeah. possibilities. It certainly does. Yeah. Mm hmm yeah, it's got a lot of different things going on. Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty nice. I never tasted it. Yet. Almost a little almond. Yeah, a little nuttiness in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Creamy nutty. All right. Well, it's actually uh, on the back end. This. Uh, I, I, I bet. I, I taste like, some kind of vegetable. I think I this think. could. Uh, I, I think this could make. I wouldn't uh, recognize all kinds of great cocktails mm -hmm. actually. Cocktails. Now you got your mind going. This this yeah. could um, this could be a good cocktail. this could be a great mixer. Yeah. It could really uh, could do well paired with a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. okay, yeah. I like it. It's a pleasant surprise. Does it meet expect? Does um, McQueen and the Violet Fog meet expectations? Yes, it does. In fact, it might even exceed expectations. Indeed, but it doesn't taste like a beer. It's but it doesn't taste like a beer. Yeah. Peter LaFrance for BeerBasics.com in Friends in Fermentation.